Must sightseeing be bad for the earth? Sightseeing and traveling are things that everyone enjoys. However, how many of us consider the damage it causes to the environment? Do you know the amount of carbon dioxide produced by airplanes? Going to Hawaii is popular with people in Japan. Did you know that for every person flying to Hawaii, 1.4 tons of CO2 is put into the atmosphere? That's about as same, the same as if you drove a large car for 3,000 kilometers. Multiply this by every person on the airplane and you can imagine the damage to the environment. But people rarely consider this when planning a trip. They don't think about the environment. Another factor is the environmental damage to the tourist spots themselves. Because the tourist agencies want as many people as possible to visit, they expand the tourist spots. They cut down trees to build the tourist spots. And of course, these facilities produce much waste. That's why in the present age we need to be more worried about environmental problems in tourist areas. Sightseeing also has good points and we need sightseeing. In an age where most people in Japan live in densely populated urban areas, sightseeing in nature gives us a feeling of freedom, peace of mind, and human warmth. Some people want to escape from their busy lives, so they go sightseeing. It makes them happy or relieved, and they forget about their hurried lives. Also, sightseeing gives a good opportunity for communication between people. Even people who don't talk much usually suddenly feel like speaking. The answer is not to decrease how much we go sightseeing, but rather, the tourist agencies should consider how to make sightseeing something less destructive to the environment. A good example can San Francisco, where bicycle tours are popular among tourists. A guide leads tourists as he explains the history of the city. An acquaintance of mine joined this tour. He said this tour was very good because the air was fresh and he was struck by the grandeur of San Francisco. Moreover, the cost was very cheap. It is good for the health and the views that can be seen are spectacular. This kind of tour emits no CO2. Along the same lines, where I live in Wakayama, there are a lot of World Heritage Sites. Kumano Kodo is one of them. It is a pilgrimage trail linking the three grand shrines of the area. The tourist agency has prepared a good project there. They have provided stamps at checkpoints for all the hikers. Only people who have been there can get the stamp. The walkers feel a sense of accomplishment if they can walk the whole trail and collect all the stamps. Simply walking around the temples of Kyoto is also a good example of eco-friendly tourism. But in the same city, Kyoto, the tourist agency plans to build an aquarium to attract tourists. However, is this huge project necessary? Many people are complaining that it is not necessary. How much CO2 will this produce? How much money will it waste? What will the effect be to the environment? This comes at a time when a certain movie set in Wakayama called The Cove gained worldwide fame. It brings attention to the cruelty dealt to dolphins to support the tourist industry. I'm sure dolphins are planned to be one of the attractions at the Kyoto Aquarium. What a bad example of how sightseeing can damage the environment. Many people have suggested instead that there should be more dolphin or whale watching tours in Wakayama. 
This could be a good example of tourism friendly to the environment. Another bad example is the government's plan to discount the tolls on the highways in order to encourage people to go sightseeing on the weekends. What will the effect of the increase of cars on the highway be? Certainly, it will not be good for the environment. Do you like to go sightseeing? As you can see, the development of sightseeing is connected with environmental destruction. So, I want you to think about the environment if you like to go sightseeing. And also, I want to make sightseeing better with you. For example, we can participate in the tours in tours suited to the region we can encourage agencies we can encourage the agencies to come up with better plans furthermore everyone has to think about the environment in their daily lives we can advance the cause of environmental protection if we change our way of thinking let's all enjoy sightseeing and have interest in how the sightseeing affects the environment as well. Thank you for listening.